Hello and welcome to Monetized History. My name is Daniel and today we're going to be talking about Queen Elizabeth II, Canadian coins, and crown jewels. Canadian coins have featured the likeness of the reigning British monarch since before the Royal Canadian Mint was established. Victoria was the first in 1858, followed by Edward VII in 1902, George V in 1911, George VI in 1937, and today Elizabeth II. The first effigy of Queen Elizabeth to grace the obverse of Canadian coins was in 1953. Sculptor Mary Gillick's design of the 26-year-old queen was chosen from a field of 17 and was on Canadian coinage until 1964. The portrait is distinguished by the fact that it isn't cooped or cut off at the neck and the laurels in her hair in place of a crown. Because of this, it is known as the Laureate Portrait. The Latin legend around the circumference translates to Elizabeth II, Queen by the Grace of God. The second portrait of the Queen debuted in 1965 and was sculpted by Arnold Matchen. Matchen designed a variation of the portrait that has been used on British postage stamps since 1967. The Queen is wearing a tiara that was given to her by her grandmother, Queen Mary, the wife of George V, as a wedding present in 1947 and is known as the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara. The legend on the coin was changed in 1965 to save space on the obverse of the coin. The Matchen portrait was used until 1989. In 1990, Canadian-Hungarian artist Dora de Petteri Hunt's portrait replaced Matchen's. She was the first Canadian citizen to design an effigy of the Queen for coinage. In addition to the Queen's portrait, she has also made designs for numerous Canadian bullion coins, including the iconic leaf currently on the reverse of the Canadian silver and gold maple leaves. Similar to the new portrait on British coins at the time, de Petteri Hunt depicted a timeless queen wearing the George IV diadem normally worn for the state opening of Parliament. It's adorned with over 1,300 diamonds weighing in total 320 carats. She is also wearing the coronation necklace and earrings originally made for Queen Victoria in 1858. Every queen and queen consort since Victoria have worn the necklace and diadem to their coronation. The pendant on the necklace is known as the Lahore Diamond and is 22.48 carats. De Petteri Hunt's design was used until 2003. The current Canadian portrait of Queen Elizabeth II was sculpted by Susanna Blunt, who was selected from a pool of eight artists. The 77-year-old queen is again depicted without a crown. She is the first Canadian monarch to be featured without headdress since her father, George VI, 50 years earlier. It has been reported that the queen wanted to appear more approachable for this portrait, which was why she was portrayed without a crown. It is likely also the reason why she is depicted wearing a strand of pearls instead of a strand of diamonds. That's all for today. What did you think? Which is the best portrait of the queen? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.